So let's talk it all into perspective. The car coach is Lauren Fix. She is with me now. Uh, Good to see we, you. we can dispense pretty quickly mm. with Ford's results. Mm. Uh, they're not that exciting. No, no, but they're going to still sell the F-150 like crazy. It's been the best-selling vehicle across the boards for 38 years. Now, so. it looks tonight as mm. if the auto tariffs against Europe are off the agenda. Yes. Good news, obviously from Europe, but we saw GM and Fiat Chrysler both warning about the effects of these tariffs. Right, because they're, they're fear, fearing right now that if, they, if we double the tariff, then the EU will double the tariff. And all that is just going to cost us more for the cars. But you got to remember, President Trump is not playing a political game that we've always played in the past. He's playing a business game. And that's not what all of us are used to. We're used to the politics. And, and I'm, not, I'm not an expert on politics. I'm an expert in automotive. Right. So I will stick with the automotive area. Please do. Okay, so what you're going to see is the EU is going to bend, and they're going to eventually go, you know, we're going to do zero for zero. That means they're going to have to eliminate that chicken tax, which has been around since the 30s. It's really interesting, because Mercedes brings in vehicles. They assemble them completely in Europe. They disassemble and put them on pallets. They're marked. They come to South Carolina, reassembled, and then sold. That's ridiculous. That's an expense that Mercedes takes in. Freightliner as well. So when you're starting to see that, that if that goes aside, that means you're shipping in vehicles that are assembled, but will help sales across the board. But how realistic is it to go to zero tariffs for automotive? For automotives, I think it's a possibility. I think it's if I, all of the ones that are possible. I know they're talking about soybeans and all the other things. I think automotive is very likely, and if that happens, the EU needs it too because you've got Jaguar, Land Rover, and Mini Cooper are built there, and you got Rolls Royce and Bentley, and the last one who will bend is going to be China. They're going to wait till every single brand, every single manufacturer makes a deal, then they'll go. Good to see you. Good to Thank see you as well. Thank you for coming in. Thank Anytime.